let's get started on the ear flap hat. Um, it has two pattern pieces, just the hat front and the hat back, and you'll need to cut a piece of uh, from your lining and your main fabric for both of them. So it's really very simple. It takes not very much fabric to create a hat like this. So I'm going to set aside whatever we want to call that lining. Technically, it's a reversible hat, so <laughs> that's why I picked the fabrics I did. If you do pick a thicker fabric, like you're thinking something like a fun fur or anything like that, I do recommend sizing up potentially because it does make the hat a little bit, a little bit tighter on your head. But um, so we're just going to line the pieces, one front and one back with right sides together along the outer curve. And we're gonna be sewing from here to this point and from the point down to the bottom. And it's all sewn. And we're just going to go ahead and open up the hat pieces so we um, align the two seams that we just sewed and match along the raw edges that remain at the top. And we're gonna sew those closed. So you wanna use a half inch seam allowance and sew all the way along this. Um, you can use your serger. Sometimes it's a little easier to use a sewing machine because then you get that full half inch seam allowance all the way across because you're not stopping just at this point. You're sewing, you're sewing through it. So half inch all the way on both sides and we're done with one part of it and we're going to go ahead and repeat all of those steps with the other fabric or your lining fabric whichever it may be and you see we have both pieces done and we are really very close to the end here so turn one right side out and keep one inside out i'm flipping these around and you're going to want to put the one that's right side out inside of the other so now your fabrics are facing each other and align everything all the seams all the curves and we are going to be sewing around the out the bottom edge you want to sew the whole thing so literally all the way around and all the way around the back but leave an opening say like three inches on the back side here because we need to use that for turning. So stitch all the way around, but just leave a little bit of an opening right there. And we've got it all sewn up and you can see all the way around and we have left this little opening. So all that's left to do here is turn it right sides out and then stuff one of your, like the lining back into the hat. Kind of get everything adjusted all of the little ear flap parts pulled out. And then you're gonna want to tuck that opening, tuck that seam allowance back into it. And grab either some clips or some pins. So you keep that half inch, I'm gonna clip that shut. And then we are going to top stitch all the way around the hat. So then that way, none of the fabric is peeking out from the other side when you're wearing it. So we're gonna to top stitch along this whole thing. It'll end up closing that hole and your hat will be finished. And you're all finished. You have a completely cleanly enclosed seam on every single piece of this and a hat that is totally reversible. So you can wear it with, you know, pretty much anything. <laughs> They're super fast to make. I, I love easy projects that don't take a lot of fabric and that still can be dressed up really cute. I mean, with these side seams, you could totally put ears on here. You could put little animal faces. Um, I mean, this guy's the limit with a simple hat. Anything that works as a base is a great pattern for me. I hope you love it. Can't wait to see what you make and uh, happy holidays.